never gone beyond round five in that time. Uh, so we've seen, that's uh, United through along with Chelsea, Leicester, Burnley winning today, Manchester City already through next year, some big sides through, but Liverpool joined the likes of Arsenal and Newcastle already out of this year's FA Cup. So Liverpool out, will Everton make it through to round five? They play Sheffield Wednesday. That's the fourth of four live here on Being Sports kickoff, just over an hour away. Arsenal is a trip to Wolves. It will be Barnsley, Chelsea who won earlier today. Everton or Sheffield Wednesday will get either Wickham or Tottenham who play tomorrow night. That one live here on Being Sports as well. And we have Swansea against Manchester City and it's Leicester against Brighton. Well, not too many neutrals when these two play Didier, but for everyone watching today, they delivered in a way they certainly didn't a week ago. Yes, um, of course, you know, we've seen a little bit more spaces, especially in the first half. So we've seen uh, all Rashford and, and Greenwood expressing really well the their, their pace. And um, yeah, in the second half as well, it was the same thing. You know, mistakes is part of the game. Sometimes you have a young defender. Um, when they when they get into the high level, you know they, they don't have the full package, so they will do mistake. Unfortunately for William, it was a, it was a today again. But um, it's just as well the efficiency uh, uh, of Man United. You know, uh, forget the the post of Cavani. It's two chances and two goals. Fernandez and Rashford. And when you see the top end of the pitch, Liverpool, you know they had that uh, chance with uh, with uh, over the the top was uh, Milner. Then you had Salah. Then I, I, remember, I forget who. So uh, they're quite there, you know, because now they hit the target. I, I thought they were better than just efficient. So I was really impressed with Manchester United. Yeah, I, I was, in, in all fairness. Uh, they executed the game plan really well. I, I felt like uh, they in, invited the, the full, Liverpool fullback up. Uh, and then they were just trying to hurt them on, on the counter. And, and like you say, with Williams, I felt sorry for him today because I, I just felt like he didn't have any cover uh, from either the midfield or, or the, uh, Trent, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Because mm -hmm. he, he was obviously bombing forward, which he does well. Uh, but he just didn't feel... I, I felt like he did, never felt comfortable during this game because Rashford was trying to attack that, that space and uh, that was their game plan today. And there's no shame in playing on the counter-attack against the side who everyone knows you have to play on the counter. If you try and play Liverpool at their game, you'll lose. You yeah. have to be prepared to, to try and stop them and counter. And then we saw in the end the game plan worked because what, later on, Bruno Fernandes produces the moment of magic and it's United who are through to round five. Yeah, absolutely. And like we said, the, Man United have, have some quality players who... Will, Is he will, the quality player? Yeah, he, that's why he, he was brought in, to uh, make the difference. And, mm -hmm. and he, he looks like a real uh, leader as well. You can see him towards the end, 93rd minute, where, where he was shouting people to come to the left so they would spend a little bit more time. So he, he looks like a, a, a leader to me also. Any argument about the foul? Does Cavani play for it, did he? No, it was a foul. You know, he's dropping into the middle and... Uh, yeah, it's just uh, Fabinho, you know, should have stayed a little bit uh, longer behind him. So it's, it's a foul. And, uh, and sometimes on, uh, on, on that kind of free kick, you, you know it's not going to be over the, the wall because the Look time... Look Thiago here, did he? I'm a big fan of his, but does he duck? Yes, of course. <laughs> it's going really quick, but he has to, uh, to make sacrifice for his team. And, uh, and that's why, you know, um, Alisson doesn't see the ball. So you can see a, a little step on the right, but it's too late because it's clinical. So uh, Fernandez again, you know, you need a, a good striker, but you need someone, you know, who's, uh, who's really precise and got the accuracy and he's got one, you know, he's a decisive player. And you can see it uh, today again. As Aaron was saying, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a great leader. You, know? uh -huh. you can see that's the leader of the team. You know, you're looking sometimes for Maguire and the other. Yeah. They are great. You know, they improve. But he's the real leader, the technical leader. I don't know in the dressing room, but on the pitch, he's the boss. I, yeah, I, I've heard he is in the dressing room. He speaks up. He, yeah. he, he's the one that people listen to. And. Uh, he sets a standard and you can see it on the pitch, he's, he's working his, his uh, socks off and he's just doing everything right at the moment. But looking back at the foul, I, I feel like the, uh, Fabinho, that's a, a midfielder uh, foul that. 
Um, really? Could, yeah. As a defender, you, you would probably step a little bit off him just to keep him in front of you. He's trying to win the ball, uh, in my opinion, which midfielders do. Yeah. And, Is that uh, what happens when, you, when you're forced to play a midfielder? Because you, you, have, you always have a safety behind you. Mm -hmm. There he doesn't, because he's playing a centre-back. Not his usual role, but uh, for me, that's a midfielder uh, foul. <laughs> I just wonder yeah. about, about, the fab, um, about Thiago ducking there. I mean, if you have... I don't know whether Klopp's a screamer, but if you did that in a big game, whether it be here or for Iceland, would your coach let you get away with that or would you get in the dressing room and he'd give you an earful? Yeah, uh, he, all the coaches I have worked with, yes, they would scream and shout, uh, take, take it in the face, take it in the face, because you are, you are in the wall for a reason. Mm. You have to take it in the face, you can't duck. And that's, you can see he does that. But it's, it's a reaction also. You, you see a ball coming straight out of your face. You, you see Thiago on the right there in the six. I mean, that, that's pretty much going straight into his face. Yeah. If you stand up and take that. Yeah. He's, he looks like he's trying to head it up, but it's just too late and he ducks as well. So. But is Pogba offside there? No. Is he blocking the view? Do you think he's offside? I, I'm not sure because I, I can't see the line. But <laughs> Well, if he doesn't move towards the ball, yeah. then... But he's still blocking the, side, uh, the, the line of, of the keeper. Though. Oh, do you know? <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to. With the Manchester City goal. I yeah, mean, I'm not going to. We're not going <laughs> to have that discussion again. We've only got an hour to kick off <laughs> in the next game. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the start. Uh, Liverpool was who went in front. Uh, Mo Salah got the early goal, did he? Yes, of course. For the, a great ball through, you know, I, we, we saw that. Um, Show should have done a little better, you know, just to 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 get inside, you know, between the uh, central defender. And the player, but he was late, and um, and the run, the timing, everything was perfect, and the finishing as well, because it's not easy to, uh, especially for Salah, he doesn't use that much his right footed. But uh, do you still think Luke Shaw gets caught out here? Oh yes, yes, yes. You have to be. Uh, uh, I told you, you know, as a left back or right back, you know, the ball should never go through between you and your centre back. You know, it has to be a, a wide, and uh, that's a slight mistake, and it cost them the goal. You see, when when teams do their warm-ups and they do the passing keep ball keep ball keep ball but it's always worth an extra point if you can split the two defenders because in a match situation that's the one that does all the damage Des yeah decisive pass and and you can see i i, I actually said said to you earlier about uh Mambasaka. yeah exactly the same uh, moment and he worked in front of mane and just to get a clearance, I don't know if we have it, but it's uh, towards the end. In the second half, yeah, it, exactly. That's yeah. the right movement that, that you have to make. And, and he saved that goal, uh, goal scoring opportunity there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it was uh, exactly that. You know, the, the strikers, they always look for the depth, they always go for, for, for penetration. And it will not be on the side, you know. That's why, you know, when Thierry Henry was saying, you know, all the time when you know, he was on the left, but when he gets to the centre, you know, always does that run. And, uh, and of course, you know, centre half and, uh, and full backs, you know, we have to cover all that space, you know, and let them go wide. And, uh, and that's why Shaw, you know, did a slight mistake, but it caused them the, mm. the, the goal, you know. And Van Bissaka, as Aaron was saying, he was better in the second half on that, mm. yeah. Well, we've been raving about Paul Pogba in recent weeks for his attacking contributions. Uh, his defensive work started off the counter and they got United level 14 seconds between the Frenchman making this challenge on the edge of his own box. Great tackle. And United getting themselves level. Wonderful counter attack. And this ball from Marcus Rashford. Yeah. Now we can see that, that's the, the game plan we were on about earlier. As soon as you win the ball in that area, get it to Rashford. And that's an unbelievable pass. And you know what, Aaron, on that, sorry to cut you. Um, I think that Liverpool, they had all the time to come back. They just guessed yeah. that Rashford wouldn't do that kind of diagonal. Look at Milner, look at the other. They, they're juggling, you know. If yeah. they were a little bit quicker, they would have gone. But they say, OK, I think this is too long <laughs> for yeah. Greenwood. Yeah. And he played the perfect ball, yeah. unfortunately, and they're late. Yeah. I didn't expect that pass. No, because it's, it's, a, it's a perfect pass. I mean, literally inch perfect. Greenwood as well has looked a menace early on. Possibly could have had United in front before he got the equaliser. But United then got in front. We talked at halftime, didn't we, about uh, Reese Williams, the Liverpool centre back, young lad. Looks like a footballer, but pace might be a problem for him going forward at the highest level. When he made that mistake, just didn't have the pace to catch up Marcus Rashford just after half time. Yeah, you can see again the space uh, on the right of him where Trent has.